Okay, uh, this recording is to show you how to use the data modeler uh, program. Once you have downloaded the zip file off of Oracle website, you can double click on it and you need to extract that file. So you want to extract all files and it asks you where do you want to extract the folder to and it would be nice to choose the program files under your C drive. So now you should see it under program files and you need to double click on the, mo the data modeler executable file and that's what occurs when you open uh, the file. So you need now to create a process model. And the icons for, uh, for that process model will be at the top. So if we want a new process, we would click on this icon here. Uh, that's the external agent. This is an information store. And this is the new flow. So that's basically the four that you will need in order to draw your uh, diagram. We will uh, draw a very simple one in this video. And then uh, another, another one in a, like a more advanced one in another video. So let's say, for example, that uh, we are trying to draw the process model for the advising um, problem that we had before. So I know that I will, um, I have student as an external agent. So I'm going to give the name student and as you can see there are like several uh, types what as soon as it's not an organizational unit it is not a system and it's definitely a role and the second thing is to add a process that process is pre-advising and that's the process that a, a student would take before seeing an advisor so going into the planning stage of what the schedule should look like. And for now, I'm going to uh, use it as composite because the pre-advising will um, consist of several uh, sub processes underneath it. So that's why I'm going to use it as a composite, um, a composite process. And then we need an information store. And we talked about that for, for the student actually to go through the pre-planning process, they have to think about 
um, they have to look at the transcript they also have to look at their um, at the courses that they have um, that are available next semester so the schedule and their degree plan which tells them what courses they need to take Now, the output of these would be um, um, a tentative schedule. Okay, the last part of, of um, drawing the diagram is to um, link the different elements. We know one of the rules says that the external agent should not have direct access to any of the information stores, that it should be through a process. So for the student, we'll go, we'll initiate the pre-advising process and the for the pre-advising to work it will have to get information from the degree plan and the result would be a tentative schedule Okay, so that, that's, that's all for the, a simple uh, model that you want like to, um, to create. And we can name that advising or student advising. So it, it has been saved now. Okay. I'll continue that model in another in another video, but I thought that I would give you these short videos uh, that would be easy for you to follow. So let's 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 do that part and then go to the next one.